In order to take the binomial 3x plus 2y to the fifth power, you'd have to go ahead and multiply 3x plus 2y five times. This could be quite a bit of work. Here's a better way. Let me introduce you to Pascal's triangle. When you have a plus b to the zero power, of course it's going to be one because anything to the zero power is always one. And then when we have a plus one to the first power because the coefficient of a is one and coefficient of b is one, we have one and one. And then when you do a plus b squared, we get one a squared plus two ab plus one b squared. So from the one, two, and the one, that's, a, that's where we get the 1, 2, and the 1 in the Pascal triangle. And then one more. If we were to do 1 plus b to the cube power or to the third power, we get 1a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus 1b cubed, where again, the 1, 3, 3, and 1, we have it here, 1, 3, 3, and 1 in the Pascal triangle. So instead of multiplying out a plus b to the fourth power, this is what we want to do. If we take the 1 and the 3, add it up, we get a 4. Just like up here, where we added the 1 and the 2, we got a 3. Where we added the 2 and the 1, we got a 3 again. And then notice here, if we do 3 plus 3, we get a 6. And then the 3 plus 1, we get a 4. And then the pattern continues, just like here. If we take the 4 and the 6, we get a 10. Notice that to do a plus b to the fifth power, we have the coefficients of the polynomials here written out already. Then, to apply this to the 3x plus 2y to the fifth power, here's what we're going to do. We begin by writing the 1 as the leading coefficient. So it's going to be 1. And in parentheses, I'm going to write down the 3x, which is equivalent of a, or the first of the binomial in parentheses, of course. And then I'm also going to put in the 2y in the parentheses as well, which of course is for the second binomial or in order to replace the letter b. Next, the 3x, the first one, will get the power of 5, which is the exponent that we start with. And then the 2y gets an exponent of 0 because these two exponents have to add up to 5. That's the pattern. Next, Plus, once again, next coefficient will be 5. So I'm going to write down the 5. And notice the two sets of parentheses I write down first to start with. And I'm going to write down the 3x and the 2y. And then what happens with the exponent that we have for the 3x, the 5 that we have, we go down by 1, giving us a 4. Whereas the 0 that we started with, it goes up by 1. And once again, the 4 and the 1 adds up to 5. If we continue plus next coefficient will be 10. Again, write down the two sets of parentheses where we put in the 3x and 2y. Again, the 4 goes down, by, goes down by 1, where we get a 3. 2y goes up by 1, where we get a 2. Okay. Next, I'm going to continue down here underneath. Next coefficient will be 10. So we have our 10. Again, notice the two sets of parentheses I write down. Same thing, 3x and 2y. For the 3x, we had a cube or 3 power just now. So we're now going to write down 2, where we go down by 1. Whereas the 2 goes up by 1, so it becomes a 3. And notice, as always, the exponents, the 2 and the 3, 3 and the 2, 4 and the 1, they all add up to 5. Plus, we're almost done. Next one will be coefficient of 5. Again, I'm going to put 3x and 2y in the parentheses. 2 goes down by 1, so we now have a 1. 3 goes up by 1, so we now have a 4. Plus, the last one has a coefficient of 1. Same thing. We're going to put the 3x and 2y in the two sets of parentheses. And then the 1 goes down by 1, making it a 0. And then the 4 goes up by 1, making it a 5. There you have it, folks. Only thing left is to go ahead and simplify the coefficients along with the coefficient of the variables, along with the exponents, which I'm going to show you next. First, we have 3 to the fifth power, which is going to be 243. x to the fifth power. And 2y to the zero power is just 1. So we could just go ahead and cancel that out. 
and we have plus 5 times 3 to the 4th power is 81 times 2 to the 1st power is 2 and then we got to take care of the x and the y where we get x to the 4th power from here and y to the 1st power from here. Continuing, plus we have the 10 in the front 3 to the 3rd power is 27 2 squared is 4 and we have x cubed from here and y squared. Continuing here once again we have the 10, 3 squared is 9, 2 cubed is 8, and we have x squared and y cubed. Once again, here's our x squared, here's the y cubed, plus we have the 5 to start with, and then 3 to the first power, of course, is 3, 2 to the fourth is 16, we have x and y to the fourth, again from here, plus 3 to the 0 power, again, is 1, so we don't have to worry about that. 2 to the 5th power is equal to 32. And then we have y to the, once again, 5th power. To finish, all we have to do is go ahead and simplify or multiply out the coefficients in the front. First, the 243x cubed, or x to the 5th power, that is. Nothing changes there. Here we have 5 times 81 times 2, we get 8, 10. And again, we have our x to the 4th and y. Plus 10 times 27 times 4 is 10, 80. And again, we have x cubed, y squared. 10 times 9 times 8 is going to be 720. Again, we have our x squared and y cubed plus 5 times 3 times 16 is 240. Again, x and the y to the fourth. Plus, finally, we have our 32, y to the fifth power. So as you can see, taking the 3x plus 2y to the fifth power doesn't have to be as complicated as if you were to multiply them out five times. Rather, if you were to use the Pascal triangle for the coefficients of each term and just take care of the coefficient to the power, then the problem can be solved without too much headache. Imagine, instead of 5, if you had a 6, 7, or 8 power, then the problem becomes exponentially greater. Whereas, if you were to use the Pascal triangle for the coefficients, it's not as bad. And of course, rather than using the Pascal triangle, you could use the binomial theorem, which I'm going to be going over in another. I hope you enjoyed this video on expanding binomial using Pascal triangle, and hopefully this will be helpful in your studies.